third try, the heart of Sky created human beings out of corn. Created human beings out of corn. human beings out of corn. These humans were placed on earth and were able to see and understand everything that surrounded them. And another angel came out of the temple, calling with a loud voice to him who sat on the cloud, Put in your sickle and reap, for the hour to reap has come, for the harvest of the earth is fully ripe. So he who sat on the cloud swung his sickle across the earth, and the earth was reaped. And the earth was reaped. The world into which we were born is fallen. In the flesh were all the property of time and space, of the ox, of Saturn, of the grim reaper, the god of this material world, who is Satan. And as such, none of us can escape the inevitability that one day, we too, must pass away. Our life in this reality is but a vapour. It appears for a little time, and then it vanishes away. Until we run to Christ, we're all marked by the beast, the harvester of death. And as human beings, we come into this fallen flesh as children of the corn. Messing with the corn GM on back when. Of course, he's in the corn room. The destroyer it on the cross, Tammuz. These stories are nothing new. There's nothing new under the sun. Studies have shown that the carbon molecule in human beings is the same as can be found in corn. In fact, 
Experts are still yet to differentiate the difference between corn and human beings. They cannot equate the missing variable between the two. Even the placenta found in the corn in which it produces the seeds is identical to the human placenta. In the flesh, we're all quite literally stuck in Saturn's maze. You don't tell the rats they're actually in a maze. This is so twisted. You don't tell the rats they're actually in a maze. In ancient times, the Roman god Saturn was the god of agriculture and derived from the Greek Kronos, meaning time. Saturn is the god of time and space and was often depicted as devouring his own children. It doesn't take much imagination when looking at the astrological symbol for Saturn to see that Saturn is the reaper of this fallen world. I think, this is my personal opinion, I think that Honestly, these rapture things that we're talking of here, the false one, we are talking of, um, you know, being raptured to Saturn in some way, shape or form. Just even looking at the symbology surrounding Heaven's Gate cult, and that is not something you want to be part of. We're going to talk to you about the most urgent thing that is on our mind, and what we suspect is the most urgent thing on the minds of those who will connect with us. We'll title this tape, Planet Earth About to be Recycled. Your only chance to evacuate is to leave with us. Planet Earth About to be Recycled. Your only chance to survive or evacuate is to leave with us. We're saying that planet Earth is about to be refurbished, spaded under, and have another chance to serve as a garden for another human civilization. Because remember, Saturn is the reaper, the harvester. There are two harvests. There is a harvest of the tares that will be thrown into the fire and there is a harvest of the good fruit, you know, the life that uh, is the father's. You know, and these things are very real, guys, very real. And um, I just pray that you'll rely on Christ and, and the grace of the real, true God, Father, who, um, who loves us and desires none to perish. You've got to understand the other side wants to push you, push you into rebellion of the Father uh, in order to have the justification and the ownership of you, of your soul, to harvest you for its own means, its own purpose, a slave to Satan for, you know, and we're talking about eternity here guys, we're not talking about no small feet, we're not talking about some just, some little mistake, we're not talking about a small feet, we're talking about eternity where time itself will not exist will not exist and uh, now is the time to be a joint heir in the family of the father in Christ or be a slave to the devil we're all actually marked by the beast in a sense of we're born in time and space of the ox thankfully uh, the father loves us the father is beyond anything that you could imagine and the Father has rescued us in Jesus Christ.
is something wrong here. I can feel it. It felt like somebody was watching me. Maybe someone was. Time of judgment is now on hand. Ah, evil's just another kind of life, and like all life, it doesn't come into this world fully formed. It's uh, it's like a seed floating in the wind. Of course, all the men are expendable once the seeds are sown. What does it want? It's a seed. A seed that lives inside of other seeds. It wants her baby. Why? To kill. I provide it with whatever it needs, and what it needs the most are children. Little lambs. The next day he saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Behold the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. life in this reality as a seed, a seed, and then we came forth into the flesh from our mother's womb, the chasm, the black void. That's what I, what I believe that they mean when they say about the Big Bang, that everything came from nothing, the black void. It's the counterfeit creator, the hijacker that has taken over the reins of this reality. We were all born in a corrupt seed, and that is why we need help because we're all born in this fallen reality. We need to be born of the new seed into the family of the Father, which Christ made possible through his death, through walking the walk that we could never walk, doing everything the right way and giving himself into the curse to create the possibility of being born again into the Father's family instead of this fallen reality to which we're all born marked by the beast in the flesh. Christ made the way straight, talking about spreading the truth and the good news of him is like sowing seeds and some will fall on the good soil. We need to be born again. I cannot stress that enough, that we need to be born again because without being born into life, you are the subject of death. That is the reality of what we live in. That is not fear-mongering. We are all in need of a saviour. And in order to find the truth, the way, the life, we need to humble ourselves and say, Father, I am of a corrupt seed. I have rebelled. I need to be humble. I am not God. I need to be saved by grace, by you, Father, the one who loves me and has provided the way and suffered to create this way, the straight and narrow way, out of the cycle of the, the loop that we live in. The loop that we live in. Flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God. We are all sinful. Christ is the only escape from Saturn's maze. In being born again out of the flesh and into the spirit,
third try, the heart of Sky created human beings out of corn. Created human beings out of corn. originates from corn. It's really originates from corn.